Welcome back to Linux Network. Today, we've got some exciting news for all you Linux enthusiasts out there. Nitrux has just dropped their latest release, version 3.2.0, and it's packed with some amazing updates. So, stick around as we dive into the details of what's new and improved in Nitrux OS. Before jumping into the nitty-gritty details, let's take a quick look at what Nitrux brings. This release focuses on the latest software updates, bug fixes, performance enhancements, and improved hardware support. They've even given it a cool code name, AF, which stands for Aesthetic FHS, a change in the directory structure to make things more human-readable and user-friendly. All right, let's talk security. Nitrux wants to make sure your system is as secure as possible. They've upped the game by enforcing a stricter password policy during installation. Now, when creating your main user account, you'll need a password with at least eight characters, including uppercase, lowercase, numbers, and symbols. It's a small but crucial step to enhance your system's security. And don't worry, you can still change it later if you really want to, but be cautious. Now onto the software updates. Nitrux has revamped some key components, such as Firefox, now at version 120.0, and KDE Gear at version 23.0.8.3. They've also taken care of some crucial firmware updates, including the Intel microcode and many drivers for various devices like AMD GPUs, Intel Bluetooth, NVIDIA GSP, and many more. Keeping your system up to date with the latest drivers is always a good practice for optimal performance. One of the highlights is the Calamari's installer improvements. They've updated the Calamari's configuration to use Linux 2 for encryption, with a fallback to Linux 1 for compatibility with Grub. Now let's talk about something interesting, Aesthetic FHS. Nitrux has made changes to the directory structure, making it more human-readable. They've introduced a new structure under the system directory, organizing everything neatly. For instance, Applications is where you'll find system-wide available app images, and System Binaries is where non-app image system-wide binaries reside. It's all about making things more organized and user-friendly. Nitrux OS has also introduced some new components to enhance your experience. They've added bootloader binaries for secure boot compatibility. Keep in mind that this doesn't mean your system will boot with secure boot by default, but the files are there if you decide to go that route. There are also additional daemons for running Nitrux on Hyper-V, a Pipewire Bell module for X11, and the Linux Logical Volume Manager for better volume management. Let's talk about problem solving. Nitrux has been hard at work fixing issues reported by users. From DistroBox container glitches to wireless password storage problems, they've got it covered. In the spirit of keeping things tidy, they've removed the ISC DHCP client, opting for Network Manager for better DHCP functionality. All right, folks. That wraps up our deep dive into Nitrux 3.2.0. It's clear that the team behind Nitrux is dedicated to providing a user-friendly and secure Linux experience. If you're already a Nitrux user, don't forget to update, and if you're new to it, consider giving it a try. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more Linux goodness, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next one.